here is our friend Matthew Shinetti. Matthew, explain to our viewers just how much is riding on Canada winning on Saturday and qualifying for Copa America. Dude, you stole my word. I was going to use massive. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> funny, Jay. I was speaking to uh, our soccer producers, Owen Marr and Greg Downs, about this throughout the week because really, you know, Canada qualifies. We have to kind of educate people on what the Copa America is. It's the oldest continental tournament. It's older than the World Cup. It's older than the Euros. And Canada qualified, beating Trinidad and Tobago. And mind you, they should have beaten Jamaica, and they've been talking about that at this camp a lot. But beating Trinidad and Tobago would be a once-in-a-career opportunity for a lot of these players, and really maybe a once-in-a-lifetime kind of opportunity for this program. Because Canada had an opportunity to play in the 2001 Copa America, but because of security and scheduling issues, they didn't play in it. But to face Lionel Messi and to face the world champions in – what's going to be 70, 80,000 people in Atlanta to open that tournament, the Copa America being a dress rehearsal for the 2026 World Cup, uh, that is it's indescribable. It's, it's so important. And everyone, when you ask them, I spoke to Alfonso Davies today about it, he smiled. And they're trying to hold back because the fact is, as I said, they really shouldn't be in this position. And, you know, maybe the, this next part will be clipped and will show up on a Trinidad and Tobago soccer social media <laughs> <laughs> site, but they should be Trinidad and Tobago, and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be really, a, not so much a competition, but it really shouldn't be close, because yes, Trinidad and Tobago has a lot of talent, they have their own professional league, and they do have a danger man in Levy Garcia, who plays in Greece, and they will want to counterattack, and he is going to be a speedster, but Canada, pound for pound, has so many talented players, so the real question is, if they don't win, where do they go from here? Because it's two years ago, Jay, that you and I were talking in Costa Rica when they had an opportunity to qualify for the World Cup. They lost that game. They played well. But then they had another opportunity to qualify against Jamaica in Toronto. They will not get another opportunity. It's either you win or it's gone. And then really what happens from here? Yes, they will have international friendlies against the Netherlands in June and the United States and Mexico sometime after that. But they will not get this opportunity again. I'll, go st I'll steal your word again. This is massive. And you said it, Matthew, there's so much talent on this Canadian squad. And yet, maybe one of the concerns that Canadian soccer fans have going into this match, Matthew, is that a lot of our star players might be struggling to get minutes with their own club teams or at least losing maybe their starting roles. Uh, you mentioned Alfonso Davies, Stefan Eustachio, Tejan Buchanan struggling to find minutes since he's gone to Inter Milan. Should Canadian soccer fans be at all concerned about the fact that their star players are, are struggling to get minutes with their own club? Yeah, it's not ideal when many of your stars, and you name three of them there, are not getting the minutes. And Stefan Stacchi was playing regularly for Porto, and he's not anymore. Alfonso Davies has had injuries. Tejan Buchanan making a move. It's a step up for him, so he's not necessarily playing because he lacks the talent. He's getting acclimated to the Italian league. The talent is still there, but if there's one player you want to keep an eye on, it's Jonathan David. He scored 11 goals in those last 10 games in all competitions. And Mauro Biello spoke about it today with a big grin on his face the movement that Jonathan David is showing in training right now. This is a guy who needs half a chance. And anyone, go back on YouTube, go back on social media, watch the clips of his goals recently in all the competitions he's played in. He literally is, a, they call it a fox in the box. That's the, uh, that's the term, that's the, maybe the soccer term for it. But he is so quick and so quick to react in, react in situations that, yes, maybe Stefan Estacchio isn't playing the, at the, his peak performance where he wants to be, and maybe Alfonso Davies is getting back to health. Maybe Tejon Buchanan isn't playing regularly, but if they give Canada half a chance, Jonathan David will bury it. Yes, you know, all the guys are coming in. They want to be informed, but Jonathan David, that's going to be the man to watch on Saturday. And as you said, they should win on Saturday, and if they do win on Saturday, Matthew talked about it, their opening game of the Copa America would be against Lionel Messi in Argentina at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. It would be also very much massive. Massive job by you. Massive. Matthew. Massive. Massive. That's his new nickname, Massive Matthew Shinetti. Right there. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>